You, my dear stranger with questionable books on your shelves, have found yourself attending my inaugural, very first, introductory, dare I say virgin, bookshelf tour. Cue the music. Here's the plan. We're gonna go from here to here and bring the camera to, and then we're gonna talk about books. So without further ado, books. And I think the best place to start is with my Empyrean collection. First and foremost, we have my favorite one, the UK paperback of Fourth Wing. It's the exact same book, it's just smaller and it has a cooler cover. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but frankly, I, I don't care. Book covers are very, very important. I am a man of vanity. I will not be held back by your ideals. So yeah, it's really pretty and I love it. And then of course, similar cover came to the States with this paperback that even has sprayed edges. And I do like it, it's just bigger, which I don't like, said no one ever, <laughs> but the edges are pretty and I have two copies because I did a giveaway for my first year anniversary of making book content but then we have the first copy I ever got the holiday edition of fourth wing with the dark edges and iron flame with the dark edges you may not be able to tell but I am a big fan of fourth wing an old friend of mine even painted a wine glass with Tannin and Darna on it which is pretty cool so yeah I love the series and now I have to put them back on the shelf and if they're a little out of order that's okay because I'm recording and I don't have patience right now I'm working next we have when the moon hatched this book is special to me because I did a live interview of Sarah a Parker which I actually have a video of on this account and a friend of mine actually went to one of Sarah's signings and so I'm getting a signed copy mailed to me but this is just a normal copy for now if you like fourth wing read this if you like dinosaurs read <laughs> dragons. If you like dragons, read this. I guess if you like dinosaurs, you could also read this because the dragons kind of become fossilized, so it's it works. But yeah, another romantic not for younger readers. Speaking of books not for younger readers, we do have all the Akatar paperbacks, and I do have the original covers of Akatar as well. My good friend Leah found them at a used bookstore and then bought them and mailed them to me, which is a crazy thing to have happened. That's why you make connections, kids. They will buy you things and send them to you, and that is just like Yes! I mean, that's the meaning of friendship, right? So yeah, she's great. We are Leah fans here. And right here, I do have some Studio Ghibli films, which isn't really bookish, but I adore them. And so they're there and look at them and watch all of them if you haven't. I have more right here. These are the best ones. Totoro, Spirit Away, Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle. We'll get to that. Yeah, I'm not really gonna go through all this because this is video games and Blu-ray and postcards, so it's not really what you're here for. But I will say this steelbook Avatar The Last Airbender is pretty cool and you should agree with me. Another thing you must watch if you haven't. I feel like most book people have seen Avatar though. Then right here I have a pumpkin that I found at the store. It is made of felt, not a real pumpkin. But beneath that pumpkin I have the original Throne of Glass series. The way these came into my possession is also pretty crazy. One of my followers just messaged me and was like, hey, I want to get a new set, so uh, you want my old set? And I said yes, because why wouldn't I say yes? So yeah, that was lucky. She's amazing. And I'm not shouting her out because she asked to stay anonymous. I'm not a douchebag, I promise. I'm currently reading Queen of Shadows, and I'm hoping to finish it this month, then do the tandem read for November, December. This is my first time reading Throne of Glass, by the way. It's not a reread. It is my maidenhood. And saying that without laughing was very difficult. <laughs> but yeah, all of these are super gorgeous, except for Tower of Dawn. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it doesn't really compare. I feel like she could have gotten an art done for Kaol, but you know what? That's that's fine. Beggars can't be cheap. Not That phrase doesn't actually work for this context. Before this book, I don't think anybody was asking for a KL book. Even after that book, I don't think everybody was asking for a KL book. But here's this baby. I think this might be the prettiest book that I own. It's the Fairy Loot edition of Howl's Moving Castle. Look at those edges. Just look at this. Look how pretty this is. And the other side. Look at them being all cute and Howl and, and, and Sophie-like. I adore this book so much. If you don't already know, this is kind of like a new gen fairy tale. I mean, it was written in the 80s, but it's much newer than like Snow White or Peter Pan. And it's a book that I will heavily recommend. And it's super magical. And Studio Ghibli's movie adaptation is amazing. It's actually pretty different than the book, to be honest, but I don't really care. I don't think anyone else does either. I think most people saw the movie first, and let me tell you, they're just both such beautiful stories. If it isn't already on your TBR, please read Howl's Moving Castle and watch the movie. It is my favorite. I swear it's my favorite, bro. We got the Owl Crate edition of The Warm Hands of Ghosts, which is very fitting for this time of month. Another friend of mine, Mistral, sent me this. And look how pretty the poppies and roses are. I don't know. I like the cover. I'm a fan. And we we both know how judgmental I am about covers. Over here, we got some interesting stuff going on. This was my new adult shelf. This is where we start getting into my young adult stuff. I actually have a lot more young adult books. I listen to a lot of audiobooks, so a lot of these are more just to have on my shelf, which I guess is just 
random knowledge and is not contextually relevant to what we were just talking about. But yeah, Cruel Prince, all three books here. Then we have the hardcover King of Elfheim. I freaking love this. It's a bunch of short stories, but it has like illustrations on the pages. Like, look at this. Like, it is so, oh, it's so charming. I love it. You definitely have to read this with the other three books. And then I have the Barnes and Noble edition of Prisoner's Throne and Stolen Air, which are actually backwards on my shelf. But I just love the black covers. I know I could have gotten the white covers to match the rest, but it's duology outside of the first three. So I thought it would only be fair to make it a little bit separate. I don't know, if I can ever get my hands on the Barnes and Noble black covers of the Cruel Prince trilogy, I, ugh, I want those books so bad. The Barnes and Noble exclusive Cruel Prince books are really high on my I need these books list. So was the original Akatar and Throat of Glass. So if the pattern continues, I'm sure I will find my books. These last two here are just really pretty sprayed edges. Five Broken Blades and Heavenbreaker. I read Five Broken Blades and it was a three star read for me, I think. There were some weird things in it that I wasn't 100% sure about, but I did enjoy it overall and I am interested in the next book. There were just some immature characters that kind of threw me off a bit. But look how pretty the edges are. Heavenbreaker, I haven't actually read much of. I read like like five chapters during a power outage and they were really good but since i've been doing monthly tbrs for youtube it just hasn't gotten back on the list it is definitely something i want to read so do not take this as a bad sign i'm just prioritizing books that i'm making videos about right now because that is the curse of being a bookish content creator but moving down i think we have to take the camera down too here we have more young adult and some middle grade books like obviously to start out we have percy jackson it's not the original covers i think i lost them when i was a little kid but these covers are still kind of old i guess i don't know i really like these ones i actually ordered this box set on line and it came in a paper thin unpadded envelope so it's all torn and messed up but they did give me a complete refund which is pretty cool so we can just pretend these are my childhood copies because of the wear and tear. I also have the first two Kane Chronicles books. I need to get the third copy. I just haven't gotten around to it. And the first book of the new Percy Jackson trilogy. And then right here we have my favorite book, Ready Player One, which isn't really on brand for me because I read a lot of fantasy. Fantasy is my favorite genre, but Ready Player One is just such a good book. It is a masterwork of sci-fi. I reread it every year and every single year I cannot put it down until it's finished. I start the book at five and I'm up until like 5 a.m. It is so good. Even if you don't know a lot about old games or stuff like that, you gotta give it a try. It's just, oh, five stars, five stars. A lot of you may have seen the movie and the movie was good as a movie, but it's a pretty bad adaptation of the book and kind of made me a little bit sad. And as for the sequel, I haven't read it. I've heard really mixed reviews. It was only supposed to be one book, but after the success of the movie, he wrote a second one to make another movie, which is already kind of weird because there wasn't going to be another one. So yeah, I've just stuck to the first book. We have The Night Circus, this really pretty UK edition. This was one of those books that I didn't really think I would enjoy, but then the Vale Book Club voted it for a September read. And let me tell you, it was so good. It was a little bit slow to get into but honestly i feel like a lot of books recently are like that but after you get about like that far it picks up it gets super interesting and it's all contained in one book it's not a series i kind of wish it was a series but at the same time it probably wouldn't be as good if it was a series but yeah highly recommend the night circus five stars it made me write a review and i almost never write reviews i just do videos so yeah read that we also have keep the lost cities which is close to my heart because it's one of the first books that got me back into reading i do not have the full series physical right now so i need to make sure to get it another highly recommended it is middle grade but it's super charming and I think as the story goes on, there's a lot of books. It gets more and more young adult over time. We have Reckless, not Powerless yet. I have to get a copy. I did a reading vlog on this book if you're interested. Then we have The Inheritance Games. I devoured these books. I think I read all of them in two weeks. My favorite being The Brothers Hawthorne, which is a spinoff. It's the same characters and it takes place after the third book, but it's not really the fourth book. The timing is weird, but it's really good. And it made me love Grayson as a character, whereas early on, I didn't really give a shit about him, which I know is not a popular opinion, but I'm not here to be popular. I actually, that is the exact reason I am here. That's why I make videos to gain an audience, but you, I, that, <clears throat> I'm making a wholesome, I'm not an egotist, okay? Please, just trust me. And also I enjoy making videos, but this is off topic. We have Six of Crows, which I'm, I'm about halfway, I wanna say through Six of Crows. I'm really enjoying it. I just have so many books that I'm reading that I'm all over the place. But from the half that I've read, I can still highly recommend Six of Crows. Then ugh, right here we have Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This series is so good. I'm on book two right now. I'm posting my reading vlog shorts for book one right now as well. And later this week, I'm gonna watch the show, which I've heard very bad things about. I think I'm gonna make a Good Girl's Guide to Murder video where I compare the show to the book. So stay tuned for that. It's a mystery contemporary series, but I'm slowly getting more into contemporary. First with Inheritance Games and then AGG. GTM, that acronym is crazy. I think mystery is my entrance to contemporary. We also have The Hunger Games, of course, and Collector's Edition of Cinder by Marissa Meyer. If you haven't already read it, it is a sci-fi cyberpunk retelling of Cinderella. And then the future books in the series have like Rapunzel and Snow White and Little Red Riding Hood. Very good, read it. Now, we're getting down here. This is just a pop-up picture book of Game of Thrones, which is kind of funny because this type of book you think is for kids, but Game of Thrones is definitely not for kids. Yeah, if I open that all the way, I'm gonna get lost and not know how to close it. We have Instant Karma by Marissa 
Marissa Meyer, the same author as Cinder. This is a high school romance about a girl who can control karma and a boy who's immune to her powers. Pretty cute. It's not spicy though. Like I don't have any spicy contemporary books, at least not yet. Well, actually up there I might. We, we're, we'll get over there. We also have Canadian first editions of Harry Potter, which I found in Canada this summer at a used bookstore. So that was pretty cool. I have the Philosopher's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, and Goblet of Fire. Nope, Order of the Phoenix. I lied to you. Up here are books you probably don't know much about. They are comic book adaptations of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, which is one of my favorite video games, if not my favorite video game. Just know that I love Zelda and we will move on. We have The Wizard of Earthsea, which is a really good classic. One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns. I'm reading One Dark Window right now for October's book club book, but it had a really slow start and then I hit like chapter 10 and it really started picking up. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to recommend this. It's a dark fantasy romanticy book. I think there's some spice in the second one, but I'm not entirely sure. We have Sorcery of Thorns, which is another really pretty book. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's reflective. I love that. And then we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which was an okay read. Wasn't my favorite, but like I, I finished it and DNF it. The Fault in Our Stars, which makes me cry. Paper Towns, which I haven't read yet, but I got it because The Fault in My Star made me cry. And I was hoping this wouldn't make me cry, but now I'm scared. Then we have Heart of a Sun Warrior, which is the sequel of Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Uh, the Witcher books. Oh, the UK edition of Once Upon a Broken Heart. I've only read the first chapter of this book for a video I made. It's going to be up on one of those sides, but it was a really good first chapter. So I definitely want to read the series. I just think I should make videos about it. So I'm going to wait a little bit. And then we have new cover, Throne of Glass and Game of Thrones book one, Song of Ice and Fire. Look at that, there's no dust cover. Uh, I don't know if there's supposed to be one, but it, there isn't one. Down here off screen isn't really anything interesting. I mean, when panic attacks, a book about anxiety. <laughs> some DVDs, I have some Japanese books, some comic books, Blu-rays. I actually have this really cool, let me show you, oh, Atomic Habits. That's not how you say habits, Atomic Habits. Gotta work on my enunciation. Uh, these are Greek mythology comic books about each of the gods, which is pretty cool. Well, only half of them, but very cool. And The Sandman by Neil Gaiman. Uh, he wrote the, well, he's written a lot of stuff. Okay, the graveyard book, Coraline, you know Neil Gaiman. But while we're on the floor, let's go on this side. All of this is manga anime stuff. We got Saint Young Men, which is a funny series about if Jesus and Buddha retired to live in Japan. So that's fun. A lot of cute stories and cool art. I mean, look at this. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I don't know. Some of you might be normal human beings who don't read stuff like that, but... Some of my favorites. I actually got my start making content doing anime videos four years ago now, I think. I don't really watch it or read it as much now. Instead, I read smutty fantasy books that were written for women, but still got a place in my heart. Still read some of it. It's good. I especially love this series, Hell's Paradise. It's about this group of assassins and criminals that are all sent to this mystical island that looks like paradise, but it's actually hell and it's full of creepy, fucked up monsters, but they're all sent there to get the elixir of immortality and whoever gets it gets pardoned of their crimes. So it's a big redemption story and uh, it's pretty cool, but also kind of disturbing sometimes. It's got definite horror tones, which is also off brand for me because I hate horror. <gasps> Anyways, time to go back up. Here we have a bunch of cute plushes. An Avatar Ram, an Avatar Ram, a creepy horror game Ram, a Cottagecore Ram. Back here's a Lucky Cat. I may be a straight white man, but I'm allowed to have joy in my life. These are all the arcs I've been sent since I started banking content. We got the Games Gods Play, which is a big book that just came out and it seems super, super cool. Then I have this cup with a bunch of bookmarks and stuff in it and a little toy fox that my sister gave me. And then we have the Serpent in the Wings of Night. The arc for the Songbird in the Heart of Stone, which I think is the coolest book I've ever received because I'm already a big fan of this series and I requested it and they were like, sure. And then they sent me it and I was like, what? I think it's a beta read too. It's not even edited yet. Uncorrected advanced reading copy, not for sale. I would never sell this. So don't even worry at all, Carissa Robin. Then we have a little bit of scary stuff here. We got a little bit of spookies. Club 22, which is a dark romance book that was sent to me instead of Fourth Wing because they messed up the order and I just got to keep this book for free because they just sent me the wrong book. It's supposedly a Hades and Persephone retelling because we already don't have enough of those. And speaking of that, I have a ton of darkness and i have hooked and i have haunting adeline i haven't read them yet but they're there for whenever i decide to descend into dark romance and make questionable videos on instagram when i start reading haunting adeline just know i'll start riding a motorcycle soon after which is dangerous and i'm terrified of motorcycles so until then i think we're safe right here's a little sign that says Vale's library my friend and discord and live stream moderator mariana got me this for my birthday and it's very cute i love it it's my purple color Purple's my favorite color. And that's that shelf. We can tilt it up a little bit. We have the Fox series that my Twitch chat made me buy. They sit on the Mandalorian Lego set that I got from my library from winning a giveaway. We also have the Lego blacksmith shop that I built live on stream, I think a couple months ago. And a plush play doctor that I got, I think around a year ago today, actually in October. And of course we have a ram with a bunch of rope on it to make it spooky and a life-size cutout of Henry Cavill. Twitch chat also made me get this. This was not me. There was no, I, uh, he is great. He's my favorite actor. He's, he's awesome. He's the perfect man. I strive to be like him. And then over here, I have more of the Rams. Hold on, you know 
how I said I like Zelda. All the book girlies who don't give a shit about games, stay here. Wait, trust me, this is cool. It's a book series that adapts the games. And just the books are so pretty. I mean, look at this. What? What? It's a freaking tome. There you go. That was my bookshelf. But don't worry. This is just a start. It is ever growing. What do you think the coolest book in my collection was? And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check me out live on Twitch multiple times a week. So thanks for watching. And until next time, deuces.